Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing my five step routine for natural looking makeup and it starts with Olay Regenerous Whip. Huge thank you to Olay for sponsoring this video. Seriously y'all, this look is so easy. You can do it in just five minutes. I might be exaggerating on these five minutes, but I'm pretty confident that you can do these steps in five minutes or less. So before I get into it, I just wanna remind you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, all you have to do is click on that big bright red subscribe button. And then after clicking on the subscribe button, click on the bell because the bell is what's gonna turn on your notifications and then that way you'll never miss a another one of my videos. Now let's get right into it. Y'all have been hyping me up. Y'all have been in my DMs and sending me comments telling me how amazing my skin looks and oh my gosh, your skin looks so great. And I'm like, yes, this is finally working. So I wanted to share with y'all exactly what I've been doing. So these five steps are actually in addition to the skincare routine that I shared with y'all a couple of weeks ago. So if you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link down for you in the description box below. But in that video, I basically mentioned that I wasn't really married to a moisturizer yet. And that's because the moisturizer that I was using was a bit expensive expensive and then y'all made that known too. So I wanted to try out other options that obviously would work for me but are also still affordable options for you all too. So this video is also kind of going to be like a mini review because I have been trying out this moisturizer for the last couple of weeks. It is the Ole Regenerous Whip with SPF 25. Now I actually started using this right before I went to the Grand Canyon. I am looking for something like I said that has SPF in it that is going to help block those rays from the sun because I'm already in my early 30s. I'm trying to do everything possible to keep my skin looking young. And I had been asking around to see what my options were with different moisturizers that I might be interested in. And a couple of my friends actually suggested this particular moisturizer. And some other blogger friends were mentioning this moisturizer. And not only that, but I grew up seeing my mom use Olay moisturizers for my entire life. And I think my mom's skin is perfect, okay? Super soft. She always has the softest, smoothest skin. So I want my skin to look like that too. I started using it a couple of days before our trip to Arizona and I was curious to see what my results were gonna be like because here in Louisiana, we're below sea level. It's very hot, very humid out here. Whereas in Flagstaff and over by the Grand Canyon where we're going, it was hot but we were also like in dry air and all that time that we spent on the plane, I, I swore that my skin was going to be dry, but that is not what happened. My skin stayed hydrated. Not only that, but it felt like matte. And look, before with my other moisturizer, whenever I would wanna do a no makeup makeup look, I would follow the moisturizer with a primer and then a foundation. Even if it's a light foundation, it was still a foundation and then concealer, spot concealing and then bronzer. And it was just like, I felt like I wasn't really getting used to how my skin just just looks on its own, just looks naturally. But after having used the Olay Regenerous Whip, I noticed that like, I just fell in love with how my skin was already looking because that's how, it, like it just left a, a really nice matte, soft, blurred canvas in a sense. I don't know how to explain it. It was just, I felt more confident in my skin. So let me just go ahead and show y'all these five steps because I know that's what y'all are here for. And I just, I'm sorry, I just had to rave about this moisturizer. But when you first look at it, it you think it's thick, but it's actually not. It's very light and very airy. That's because it's like a whip-like consistency. And I just put it in little dots around my face. Don't ask me why. I think it's just like what I grew up seeing my mom doing. And so I just sort of follow that technique and just apply it all over my face like so. And this really is so, so light. It just glides on. And I don't know if y'all can see. It's like I can feel it, but it already just sort of sinks into the skin like as if you were putting a mattifying primer on you know that that texture that sensation very like i know it sounds weird to say but like a blurred texture is that even a, is blurred even a texture though if i really feel like i don't have anywhere to go honestly it's just a one-step routine but sometimes when i'm out in public i might need a little something something so we're gonna go ahead and follow it steps two through five all right so my next step is concealer and i basically focus right under the eyes and also any red areas or any scarring that I may have. I have a little scar here. And all I do is I tap that in place. It just makes me look like I'm really awake and ready to take on the day and not super tired. Okay, so now my next step is gonna be a little touch of bronzer because even though the moisturizer has SPF 25 in it and it's protecting me from the harsh rays of the sun, I still want it to look like I'm sun kissed, you know? So I'm not just like one flat color. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit of bronzer under the cheekbones and then a little bit even above the cheeks too because again like one little sun kiss look and this is really the only color that i'm going to be adding to my face i might even put a little bit over my eyes like this you know like i said we're just adding a little bit of color okay all right so this fourth step is mascara it's just going to help to open the eyes a little bit more make it seem a little bit brighter a little bigger a little more awake see you can already see the difference mascara no mascara mascara 
no mascara. Okay, so step number five, my final step is just a little bit of lip balm, like that. Because even though I'll have smooth skin, I still want smooth lips too. So just a nice hydrating lip balm like this one, and I'm ready to go. Like I said, you're the ones that have gotten me really excited about doing this video because whenever you notice a difference in my skin, when there's a difference in what it is that I'm using, I have to share with y'all what it is that I'm using because it's like, I don't wanna keep this to myself. I'm going into my fourth week using the Olay Regenerous Whip. I love the way it sort of gives me a nice base to whatever canvas I want to work with, whether it's a no makeup makeup look or a full glam look. I just feel like it leaves my skin really soft, still hydrated, not super heavy like some of the other moisturizers that I've used and definitely not greasy either. I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. I mean, like I said, my mom has been using Olay moisturizers almost my entire life, so why haven't I caught on? I have no idea. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Huge thank you to Olay for giving me the opportunity to try out this moisturizer. I'm so glad that I did. Let me know in a comment below if you've ever tried the Olay Generous Whip. If you haven't tried the moisturizer yet, I'll leave information to it down in the description box below, but let me know if there is another addition to skincare that you think I need to incorporate in my routine. I'm curious to know what other people are using. I'd love to try it out for myself. So let me know what it is down in the comment below. You can find me on Instagram Instagram at Reese's Rizzo's and that's basically it. I love y'all. Un besito and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.